Job sharing doesn't really spring to mind as a winning approach for startup CEOs. But one could argue that's essentially what the three of you are doing. There is no CEO of this venture. You have different and, I think, fabulously complementary backgrounds, but you really are sharing the leadership. So I'd like to throw out to all of you the question of what's that like? You know, what, what's really hard about it? What's really good about it? I think most people in the Silicon Valley, most venture capitalists, if you said, we're going to do a startup and we're all three going to lead it together, they would have a less than positive reaction. So I think it's a really interesting aspect of what you're doing, and I think it would be fun to hear you talk about it a little. You won't see these scars. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, the, uh, you know, we, we, we had a similar experience at Anne One, where there were, there were three of us that founded the company and, 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 and a solid five, six people that were really part of the key leadership team there. And so we come out of a decade-plus experience of running a real team-based organization. And there, there are a handful of benefits. Far and away, the most important benefit is, you know, they're all smarter than I am. And so you start with the recognition that you find people smarter than you, and then you grab onto them and say, don't leave. And, and that's a pretty good strategy, because none, none of us are good enough to do this stuff on our own. Um, and so the most important thing about the job sharing is just because it enables you to do more and do it better. Um, the, the next most important thing, if you're lucky enough to, to do this with people that you love and that you respect, um, is that you can call each other out. Uh, and, and so there's nobody, you, when you guys fire away questions, you know, and I hope you're incredibly critical and, and et cetera, there is no way you can be as critical of us as we are of each other. And, and that, I think, comes out of the, the total trust that we have in each other and the recognition that we've all got, you know, relatively skilled and, and diverse sets of skills. And so if st for stuff to get out of our building and out into the world, it has to have already gone through a pretty aggressive little gauntlet. Um, and I think that's incredibly powerful. And, that, and you, it's hard to do if you're just, I'm the man, and I got the idea. And so, well, then you hire a bunch of people, all lesser than you, who are just saluting. And then, hey, if you're right, God bless. You know, but truth is, you're most likely going to be wrong, way more than you're going to be right. And so you need people around uh, to, bounce ideas, to bounce ideas off of and to check you and to check your own ego and your own, because often your instincts are incorrect. And so I think those are the, it's all about the team, you know. There, there, the experience at A&1 we're trying to duplicate to some degree here at, at B-Lab. Uh, the experience at A&1 was we had two founding principles. The team with the most superstars wins and the best idea wins. Period. Uh, I think we were in our seventh year when we uh, created job titles. I think at the time we were probably about 72 million in revenues before we created job titles. And frankly, the reason we created job titles was because we had too many people who didn't understand what exactly we did. So we had to make sure they understood that we had a function at the organization. Um, <laughs> but I'm dead serious about it. It, it, it was, uh, Jay's exactly right. Uh, that it's all about uh, recognizing uh, that you can't do it alone, that it always requires a team. And uh, once you have that team, the humility to recognize that a best idea most likely won't come from this team. It's going to come from some of our staff who's here in the audience. It's going to come from outside the organization. And you've got to be great listeners. you just got to be a great listener. You've got to listen to what your team's saying, you got to listen to what your staff's saying, and in this particular venture, we got to listen to what the community's saying, because we're brand new to this space. We're brand new to social entrepreneurship, social enterprise, and there are people who've done this work for 35 years, and if you look back two years ago to how this started and what, what our idea was two years ago and where it is now, it couldn't be more different. It couldn't be more different, and we hope we hope that's because we're good listeners. <laughs>